Hello and good morning to our learners in Senior High School in Apalit Standalone 1, especially the Computer System Servicing Learners. So welcome to our video tutorial. So this is actually a series of video tutorials. So nagkaroon tayo ng tinatawag nating parts, function, and uses of motherboard. And then we have the second one which is the steps in PC assembly. In this video, we will now tackle steps in PC disassembly. So we all know that before PC assembly and PC disassembly, we have to prepare. So meron tayong tinatawag na before computer disassembly, there will be a preparation. During computer disassembly, there will be steps to follow. And after computer disassembly, of course, meron pa rin tayong gagawin. This is under install and configure computer system, and networks. So before computer disassembly, number one, we must not forget safety procedure. Number two, we must always check and prepare our working area, tools, and the computer to disassemble. Where? Personal protective equipment if needed and available. After that, we can already start to disassemble our computer. So... Unplug and remove all the cables of the system. So wear the anti-static restrap if you have. Get your Phillips screwdriver and unscrew the main cover or the outer shell of the system casing. And then, wag pong kakalimutan, we have to carefully yan, remove the parts of the computer habang nagtatrabaho. System casing, we are now ready and prepared to remove all the cables and all the switches connected to the motherboard at dun sa mga optical drives natin. In this case, we are removing the power supply, we are removing the power supply also of the hard disk, and then i -re remove na rin natin yung SATA. Yung iba po palang mga system unit, mas madami yung kanilang optical drives. In this case, we only have one hard disk drive. Yung iba, meron pang additional optical drives, merong SSD. Okay? Tatanggalin din natin or i-remove din natin yung mga switches, yung front panel switch, okay? power switch, we have the reset switch, and then yung audio and USB connection na nasa front panel natin. So i-remove po natin lahat yan. We have to make sure na disconnected na lahat ng cables at lahat ng switches sa ating motherboard at sa mga uh, disk drives natin. After that, we are now ready and prepared to remove the screws of the power supply unit. So usually po, apat yung screws ng power supply unit. I-remove natin sila. And then, don't forget again, itatabi natin yung mga screws. At tatandaan natin yung kanilang sizes. Okay? Just in case nagagamitin natin sila uli. Carefully, remove the power supply unit. Titik ng mabuti kung wala nang nakakonek ng mga cables. Ni-remove na natin kanina yan. And place it on the table safely. After that, pwede na natin i-remove yung video card and other cards. In this case, we have one video card at wala na pong ibang daughter cards na nakalagay. So, properly secure siya with screw. Again, unscrew them. Okay? Separate the screws. And then carefully remove the video card or kung meron pa kayong other daughter cards. So dito meron pong lock yung tinatawag nating video card. So yan clip lang natin yung lock and then carefully lift the video card from your system casing and your motherboard. Do not touch the golden pins of the video card. Next is we're going to remove all the drives including the hard disk drive, optical disk drive, Floppy disk drive kung meron, at syempre kung meron din kayong SSD and other drives. So sa unit na dinidisassemble natin ngayon, there is only one hard disk drive. So since tinanggal na natin kanina yung SATA cable, tinanggal na natin yung power supply niya, i-unscrew na lang natin sila ng dahan-dahan because very sensitive po yung hard disk. Hindi pwedeng umaalog-alog, hindi pwedeng nababagsak. Carefully remove it to the system casing and put it on the table. Next is... We remove the motherboard from the system casing. Siyempre, we will use our Phillips screwdriver. 
remove all the screws connecting the motherboard to the system casing. So usually there are six screws na nakalagay sa motherboard because that is the standard of TESDA. So gusto po ng TESDA, we are using six screws kapag nilalagay natin yung motherboard. Siyempre, once we remove them, okay, again, ihiwalay po natin dun sa mga screw na tinanggal natin kanina. So wag natin pagsama-samahin. Okay? And then carefully lift the motherboard from the system casing. Ayan. And then we put the motherboard on the table. So once we remove the motherboard, we are now ready for the next step. Remove the memory modules or our random access memory. In this case, DDR. Press lang po yung dalawang lock sa magkabilang gilid and then we can now lift the memory from the motherboard and set it aside. Hahawakan ulit ang mga gold pins. Okay. For the final step of this assembly, we have to remove the heat sink and the CPU fan. So yan, magre-remove na po tayo. No? Carefully, i-remove natin. So using our flat screwdriver, in-unscrew ko lang po yung plastic screw na ginamit dun sa system casing and system fan. Yan. So carefully lang, then we lift it. Dahan-dahan lang po. Okay, para hindi po masira yung system at hindi rin po tayo maaksidente. Once we remove the system fan, we disconnect the 4-pin power connector. Okay? So carefully remove the 4-pin power connector. So we are now removing the heatsink and system fan. Set it aside. Set it aside. And then carefully lift the lock of the processor. Yan, para po makita na natin yung ating processor or the central pressing unit and then remove it carefully from the CPU slot or from the slot of the motherboard. So yung processor po natin is pinless. We successfully disassemble our personal computer. Congratulations! After that, you can check and list all the parts of the computer. You can prepare an inventory list. Again po, in TESDA, we are asked to prepare an inventory list of all the parts of the computer that we disassemble. After computer disassembly, successful na tayo, clean your working area, sort, maintain, and keep all the tools and equipment, especially yung mga computer parts, kung hindi nyo na i-assemble, i-keep po natin silang mabuti. Okay? That's all for our tutorial for today. Thank you and God bless and I hope you can use this particular tutorial kapag po magpe-performance task na kayo or before the performance task in PC this assembly. Thank you and God bless and always take care. Goodbye!